Did I, mate? Here we are on the Aboriginal back forest rainforest. We see all these wildlife. Could you hear that? Now I'm cameraman David over there and my other cameraman who's been in the bush himself. Now all these motherfuckers, you see that wood over there? That wood's been here for generations on end. So we're going to go deep into the forest, find some animals, maybe suck some dick, and who knows, maybe we might even find a crocodile. Here we are in the back rainforest of fucking treasure and gilders. Now this may look like a massive vagina, but don't get that, don't make that let you fall. See this bigot? That's not the clip. That is where the fucking badger has been sucking some dick. You see the curl on it? That's what he's been doing. There's all these holes where he's tried to stick his massive penis through the hole to make some wildlife. Now if you see this hole, if you come in here, you stick your hand long enough, you'll get a bite from a fox. But don't that let you fool ya. I mean look at all this bush. This bush hasn't been used in years. Now someone needs to fuck it, give it a trim, and it will be all nice. Now let me tell you what man's doing to the wildlife. You see all these cut trees? That's what we're doing. You see those animals? They got nowhere to live. Now what have we got to say about this shit, Dave? This is messed up. Let's carry on with our search to find some wildlife. Come on, let's go. Look at this. You'd think a dinosaur did this, but no. Man did it. That's me. That's him. That's everyone around here. Look at Dave. Don't you feel sorry for him? He loves that tree. And man cut it down. Come on man, it's over. Let that tree lie. Alright. We're going to keep on going. Look at this, I can't believe this. How is an animal, wildlife, nature, meant to live in these areas? This is not possible. I feel like going to... Oh, 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 I'm going to break. I'm going to break. This is not fair. Look, butterfly! There is wildlife! That means there can be life. Can you... Dog. But dogs are not important in the wildlife. Animals are important. No, I think that's a coyote, mate. Sam, the cameraman, knows what he's talking about. He's been in the bush for three months. I wouldn't even argue with him. If I argued with him, my license would go out the window. If I could sell the window, I would. But he got cut down by man. Like everything else in this bloody place. Look, man thinks it's good to put a bench there with graffiti on it. It's not fair. Okay, cut, man. I'm going to cry. I'm Walking through the, the forest for a while, we discovered some more disturbing things. <laughs> as we got closer, and as Bushman Greg led us to them, it got too dark to film. But he tried to explain anyway. You probably can't see me. But right in front of me is a big concrete pillar that some man has made. Now this may look like a little wood, but don't make that fool you. This is wildlife. Let's go. Man's tendency to destroy the earth around it has somewhat got it in trouble with local wildlife experts. Some say he hates men. Some say he is an animal. Some say he's just plain crazy. I'm about to say something that's so mad, it's got my name on it. Up here, back in the day, I ripped my name in graffiti. But they don't know me like that for you. This is wildlife. <laughs> oh man, my leg. Ah, oh, crap. Maybe that was my leg, but don't worry about it. I'm going to get out this pillar. It's the last thing I do. Now you may wonder why I'm not wearing a shirt. But to be honest, I don't care. So what I'm going to show you is some baby back fish in the water. Come on. Now see this beauty? I don't know if you can see it because it's only about smaller than a centimetre small. But this baby can leak through waters and it can swim through waters. You see all this dirt? It's not a problem for the baby back fish. Now, these have been in these waters for over a million years. And I'm not even a million years old and I still know about it. So you should as well. You see these stones? He likes to eat them. See this glass? It's not an alcoholic, it's a fucking fish! Cheddon, what about it? We don't know. But this is my cameraman's sidekick number two, because I like to shit a lot. See this Trimark? Now, in the family of the stories, living in the back rainforests, because he's been in the bush for almost three months, he got tribal tattoos. Now it may look like a skull, but don't make that let you get fooled. This right here is an Aborigine. He's even got a mark 
from something called that we think we don't know yet but we think it's called the jester and it's been burnt in flames if you know what I'm talking about you must be a bloody heavy metal fan but if you don't then you're probably like Pop like Pink and Avril Lavigne now let me take you further into the rainforest to show you some of the stuff that we like to do don't make that let you get full this is the back rainforest cut that shit come over here we just no one my sidekick cameraman day just now now this may look like a chocolate bar but it's a blue bell rat now these things are only found in the rainforest. Let me try and pick it up. Oh shit. Oh, oh fuck. Almost went over the place mate. But I'm an expert at this shit. Don't make that let you get fooled. I'm gonna pick it up. Now these things like to roast on peanut bars. Delicious peanuts and cereals. But don't let it get fooled. It is a bluebell rat. And they're pretty rare. But let's just let it free. Because all of these men, they're burning this place down. Let's let it, let's, do you wanna see it go free? Let it go free. Oh, there it, it appeared our Australian bush wanderer had lost his accent. He was so distraught. I'm distraught myself, as you can tell. I can't talk properly right now. He was so distraught that he lost his things and he lost his accent temporarily. But rest assured, his accent will be back soon. Stay tuned for part two when we go into the other side of the rainforest to find some deer. Grave words from a grave man. Lights have gone dead. A beast just ran out behind of us, took the lights, fucking went to the next style. Good day, mate. This is the second part of the show. Let me just tell you businessmen how to make all these concrete roads. You think you're hiding us, wild boys? You think us where you'll hire? You think you're hiding all us, bushy wackos? Let me tell you something, I could fly on an aeroplane, be twice as high as you, come down to where you're living and kick the crap out of you. But that's not what's going to happen, is it? I'm a wildlife, I make money my own way. But don't make that let you get fooled. Now let's go. See this, we're in the concrete jungle right now. Walking over to the other side of the forest. And uh... Man built a road right through this forest. That's right Sam. Sam a man, cameraman too. That is absolutely right. Look, watch out! Here comes a bushwhacko! <laughs> that almost got me! <clears throat> okay, before we go into the darkness, we're going deep into the fucking river. But don't make it let you get full. We're going to come out alive with a TV show that you can show your grandkids from generation to generation. Did you hear that? Are you ready? Let's go! This is the second part of the show, our lights have gone dead. A beast just ran out behind of us, took the lights, fucking went into the back, started laughing. It was like something for beavers and bite, but no, this is wildlife. So we're going to run out this big ear that you cannot see, but fuck it. Don't make that let you get pulled, we can do it. So here we go, ready? Here we go. I used to be scared of um. It's a bit lighter up here, chaps. I still can't Ooh. see you. Doesn't matter. Seventy emotes. 